Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's probably going to be a pretty quick one today. I just have kind of like a little mini haul to show you guys. Um, I got some things from Amazon as well as um, a small order from um, Paper Pie, uh, previously known as Esborn Books. So I'm sure that you have heard of them. Um, so it's kind of small. It was really just like a mid-year, like kind of refresh of our school supplies, some things that we needed to add to some of our lessons or if, um, you know, we needed to kind of refresh our reading material. So yeah, it's pretty small, um, but I still get excited about new things. So I wanted to show you guys. So um, I'll start with the um, it's going to be really hard for me not to say as foreign box, but the paper pie um, order that I got. Um, and so if you have not been watching my channel for a while, I have a two-year-old as well as a seven-year-old. So we are currently homeschooling uh, with my seven-year-old, but my youngest, um, you know, isn't quite there obviously to starting school yet. But um, when I do these hauls, there are going to be some items geared more towards him, you know, with like reading or things like that. Um, and then some items for my seven year old as well. So I'll kind of just tell you guys as I go, but I think we, we might only have one thing for my two year old. Um, so starting with the paper pie order, I have one for my youngest, my son, um, this book frog on a log. I thought this was cute because it's one of those like open the flap, um, books which my son loves. Let's just hope he doesn't rip all of them out because that has happened in the past. So yeah, these interactive ones are pretty fun for the toddlers. So there's that one. And then my daughter um, really needed some more readers. So I got her a few and some of the stuff we've actually already gotten into, including the reader I'm going to show you right now, um, my daughter and I really like, as soon as we get a package, we like dive into it. It's really hard to, um, keep us from <laughs> looking at the school stuff or starting it. Um, so this one we've already started, but it's one of her favorite things, stories of unicorns. Um, another kind of fun thing, um, that I thought about after the fact with this was that my daughter just recently started horseback riding lessons and so also just like any stories with horses or things like that um, are a little bit more exciting for her now also. Okay, And then um, these ones we have not read yet um, but they look super cute. Um, this one is Owls and we got um, levels two and three um, readers. So I can show you guys like the inside of kind of like a little bit of the difference, but like here's the level two and I'll show you guys the level three inside just in case you like, you know, want to have an idea of, of how many words are on each page. So she does well with both of these. I really don't um, stick to any certain reading level with her um, because we do a lot of reading for um, learning, but also just, I want it to be very focused on enjoyment at this age. So, um, I just don't focus too much on the level. I obviously want to make sure that I'm continuously challenging her, um, and making sure I'm not just getting, you know, all younger level books, but, um, we do always have a wide range of the levels. Okay, and this one is another level two, The Scaredy Cat, which we have read this one actually, I forgot. This is one of the first ones we read when we took them out of the box because she thought that it looked really cute. But we'll be reading it again. Okay, and then this is the last book from Paper Pie, but I just want to mention really quick um, a theme of some of these, a couple of these books, I think maybe two or three, is that um, Women's Heritage Month is coming up in March. And I didn't have too much um, for that. And um, I've been really trying to dive deeper into the different like heritage months as my daughter gets older. And so I grabbed a couple of books um, to kind of just go over different women in history. So um, this one caught my eye, Amazing Women, Over 100 Lives to Inspire You. Um, I don't think this is like one of those books where we're gonna get through um, 
all of it. We're probably going to just read through like a few different stories of women or maybe I'll let her like pick some out um, of people who might look interesting. Um, but I'm excited about this. Like some of them she may even recognize already. Like I know we've done some reading on Amelia Earhart, um, Rosa Parks. Um, we've touched on a few of these. So she may want to um, learn about some that she's already read about. But some of them have little small sections and some are a little bit larger. But I thought this would be a good addition to use kind of year after year. Okay, so that's it for Paper Pie. Um, the rest is all from Amazon and I'm going to link as much as I can down below the paper pie books I'm not like a um, Sales rep. I don't know if that's the right term for that, um, but I can definitely link the um, The rep down below who I do always order from so if you want to check out any of those books you can um, And then the Amazon stuff. I'll definitely link anything that is still available so let's kind of stick with the book theme here and then I'll get to the other stuff. Um, so we got The Wild Robot. This is a really popular one that I know so many um, of you other families have already read with your kids. And I believe it's a series. There's at least one more. Yeah, at least one more here. Um, so this is going to be a read aloud that we're probably going to do. Um, I don't know when we'll start it because to be completely transparent with you, um, I have so many read alouds set aside that I want to get through and like, you know, we'll do fun ones like this, but then I also have some that I have purchased for different heritage months. So like, for example, for February, um, because it was like Black History Month, a lot of our read alouds were all focused around that. And so then we don't get to some of these other ones. Um, and so I don't, I can't say 100% that we'll get to this this year, um, but it's just going to be basically added to my read aloud shelf that once we get to, we'll get to. But I'm excited about it because I've heard a lot of really good things about this one. The kids have really enjoyed it. Okay, and then I got How God Grows a Praying Girl. It's a girl's devotional. So kind of just daily um, devotionals here. Um, another one that I've seen um, a couple of families have and they enjoyed it was How Great Is Your God devotional. So it says 100 indescribable, indescribable devotions about God and science. Um, so I thought this one would be fun because my daughter is very into science, how things are made, where things come from. Um, things like that. So I thought tying these things together with God uh, would be just a great addition. So we'll dive into that one. And then another one that we're going to use for um, the Women's Heritage Month is um, one of the Courageous World Changers books. I think there's a few of these. Um, it says 50 True Stories of Daring Women of God. I don't know, um, oh yeah, so there's 50 different women in this book. So this is another one that we'll probably just kind of read through a few of them, but maybe not all at once. Um, but I'm excited about these. I definitely think that it's important. And it looks very well put together. So there's that. And then this one, this one's heavy, um, is something I've wanted to add to um, our homeschool for a while now. It's a um, children's dictionary, which I think is going to be a great resource. It's a DK uh, Merriam-Webster children's dictionary, so obviously lots of pictures. Um, but my daughter's really getting to the age where she wants to know what everything means. And so especially with being at the reading level that she is now, um, you know, when she sees new words or we talk about new things in school, she, you know, if she doesn't understand a word or she wants to know what it means, she always asks. And um, I don't necessarily always want to just give my first thought in my head of like what it means or what I think it means because, um, you know, sometimes that's not always accurate. And so, 
um, being able to just say like, hey, like let's go look that up and get the correct definition. Being able to have this, I think is gonna be a great resource to our homeschool and also just teaching her um, you know, how to look it up so that as she gets older and she's doing research or wants to know about something, she knows how to find it in the dictionary. So this is gonna be a great addition. I'm excited about it. Okay, so I think that's the last of the books. Um, so now I just had a couple resources that I wanted to add to some of the lessons that we've been doing. Um, we recently moved um, to a new state away from quite a bit of our family. And um, in one of our, <clears throat> I believe it was one of our knowledge crates recently, um, there was like a postcard activity where you could write you could like decorate one side and then write something on the other side to send to someone and my daughter just really loved that and all and obviously like our family that received them were so excited and I just thought it would be a really great way to work on handwriting that would be fun but also just to um, you know have that continuous um, communication and um, relationship with family that is now in a different state from us so I ordered a like hundred pack of blank um, postcards from Amazon that um, she can decorate on one side so kind of be like art and um, writing at the same time so then it has this side where she can put a little note and to our family member and so I'm really excited about this because she can be creative and also work on her handwriting at the same time. So I think she's gonna be really excited about that. And it really wasn't too bad of a deal for a hundred of these. I mean, this is, this is gonna last us for a long time, so. Okay. And then um, something that has been on my like Amazon wish list for a long time now is one of these kids' clocks. So we, um, have been working for quite a while now on telling time and our Good and the Beautiful math curriculum has um, touched on this like quite a bit in her lessons but it seems to be kind of sporadic so it's like we'll work on it one day and then we may not see it again for a week or something and my daughter just wasn't um, retaining it as well as I would like her to and so I've gotten a few things to kind of increase um, the lessons basically with telling time um, and I've done the same thing with working on money as well I'm adding things to um, our kind of like baseline curriculum just because I think that for her to like fully retain it we need a little bit of it like every day so here it is it um, is just very descriptive here of like the hours and the minutes, the seconds. Um, it says at the top that 60 minutes is one hour, 60 seconds is one minute. It has the um, quarter past, half past, you know, noon and midnight all labeled. And so I think just having this like visual in our um, school room is going to really like help her kind of like visually see when we're talking about our lessons and I apologize if my lighting is like really off right now you guys um I have not quite figured out um the correct lighting in here um so hopefully it's not too um bothersome but in addition to this something else that I bought that isn't brand new but I did want to show you guys because it's just something that we've kind of like added to her curriculum and I've really liked them so if you feel like your kids are needing a little bit extra in the area of like time or money um, that they're not getting in their curriculum these are just um, very small workbooks but it's like it's all on that topic and so it's a great addition if you just need something extra um, so the two that I found both also on Amazon um, that I've really liked and it's really helped her like she's her understanding of time and money has really improved with these workbooks so the first one is um, the school zone workbook it has time money and fractions and I actually have them kind of labeled because we're not doing the fractions right now we're just focusing on the time and money so we just go straight to the pages of what we're needing and um, those are the ones that we work on so I've um, gotten these school zone books for a couple of years now 
um, and they've always worked out well for us. We we like them. So that one I would recommend, um, and I'll try to link these down below. Um, and then this one is an Evan Moore um, learning about money. Um, this one's also great. I would recommend it. Sorry if my kids are loud downstairs. They're playing. I'm hoping that you can't hear them, but if you can, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these aren't new to the haul, um, but I did want to show them just because I also got them from Amazon, you know, maybe a month or so ago, um, and it just kind of ties in with the, like, clock that we got. So, that is everything, you guys. Um, I know it was kind of small, but again, uh, we got most of our school stuff at the beginning of the year and haven't really needed anything else. So this was kind of just like a mid-year refresh to our homeschool with stuff that we've been working on. So I will link everything I can down below, um, you know, that's still available. If you have any questions for me about anything that I showed, um, let me know in the comments. And hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.